Guys, I'm playing the last game of the season. We finished 169 LP Master Tier. This is the highest I've ever been, ever. I've never ever finished a Master Tier. I actually picked up 450 LP, mind you. But yes, this is the highest we've ever finished. And this is our last game of the season, boys. Because if you didn't already know, tomorrow in the morning, the season resets. And it's all going to go away. We're coming to the new season with a fresh MMR. So this is it. This is the last gameplay you're going to see of my TF with this, with the Ludens. Boys, we've got to bring it in. This is our final game with this build. Let's go to town. Let's do work. Let's enjoy this game, lads. This is it, boys. This is it. I want to share two things with you guys. One, AI generated growth score. If I had my black hair and I worked out at the gym with TF mixture, yes, yes. And I also posted about this on uh, my Twitter and someone called Kira TV reached out to me, who helped me out. It's pretty much the Safi banner. So you won't be seeing Safi anymore in the bottom left corner because uh, it's just making our videos demonetized. And then I got to request it and wait out eight hours and they always get accepted for monetization. But yeah, so you won't be seeing that anymore for the next season, boys. It was this guy that helped me out, reached me on Discord. A phenomenal guy. I watch a lot of his videos. Unbelievable videos. Got to get over there, boys. Drop him a sub, a like, comment. This guy is amazing. Phenomenal. Love this guy to pieces. Someone asked for the high noon skin. So you got it, boys. It was this guy. Fire Fizz. I got you, buddy. We've got Huai Bot Lane. He gave me mid lane. Thank you so much, Jerry the Boss. And yep, I don't know how this is going to go, but they've got a Braum, lads. Not great for TF. One of the worst counter supports for TF. And uh, yeah, we're against Ari. Excited to play this one. I'm going to miss this season. This has been the best. Honestly, honestly this has been my favourite season ever. Obviously, because I've peaked 450 LP last year this season. But I've just loved this season. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. I love it so much. I love Ludens. I love how you can buy the first item. And, you know, I love it so much. I just, I'm not looking forward to the changes. I want to still be able to cook. On the next season but we'll see uh yeah i'm just i'm sorry boys i'm just so upset with the season coming to an end anyways enough moping let's get into game let's get to that lane phase i was just showing my friend hobby on uh discord you guys remember this game here hmm? look at that isn't that amazing abe's oddworld the original and then after that they released a abe's exodus which was amazing as well phenomenal games here i've got a ps1 and uh, yeah, I've got loads of classic games. But anyways, let's play Aphelios bot lane. No cleanse, mind you, he is... What? Maybe they're all here. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. Uh, obviously, they're all there. Ghost has been used. Heal has been used. They're all popping everything. Going to use a red card here just to try and get AoE damage. Going to go on to Udia here and just focus on getting the right target. Going to try and get that Udia. I would like the flash. We're going to switch over to Braum. Okay, I'm getting collapsed on. That's not too good. Oh dear, oh grossy, it's not a great start, and Ari takes a double kill. Oh dear me, we are in trouble. Not great, boys, not great at all. 2-0 Ari, she's big, she's worth a shutdown. Did The question is, did she reset and spend her gold, or is she going straight to mid? She did not spend her gold, so good. She could have instantly reset there, bought a dark seal, bought a ward and just absolutely dominated me but she hasn't done that now she does have the experience advantage boys if you get two early kills it's going to be a lot of experience lead so we've got to just play it slow she's going to hit level four after these three creeps no doubt about it we're going to try our best just to last hit and just give her all that respect that she deserves because you're going to have the level advantage level so let me explain this to you boys levels are worth about 300 gold did you know that so if someone's ahead of you by a level they're, they're technically 300 gold up which is like a kill obviously she has a taunt now so yeah because your stats increase per level a lot of people don't know that a lot of people out there low elo don't know that so yeah levels are everything that's why i always prio the the creeps the cs over the roams because the levels are everything now we've managed to hit level two here so we're doing about the same and she hasn't bought anything Let's just last hit. I think we missed this melee creep here. Oh, we don't? Oh, that's great news. We will miss that one. I'm going to just get that one. We are actually winning in CS. Now, Graves is wrapping around, which is really great. I'm going to hold the gold card here. Maybe go for a flash. Just go for a flash. See what we can cook up here. Now, she's probably got a taunt. Got to be careful. She has actually still got a flash. I actually thought she might have burned flash early game. She didn't. Now, we're flashless as well, so we'll be careful. See Graves going in here. I don't really want to follow Graves because it's slow pushing in and it's not a good idea for me to follow that. And we're actually missing all the CS here, but we've managed to shove it in. I don't think it's going all the way. I'm going to have to just ping Graves. Hard shove mid. Ari is on that roam. I can't. I have to push in here because otherwise it's slow push in. And then I'll be absolutely doomed. So I've got to hard shove that in like that. Try and get as many last hits. And now we can take a roam. And Ari is here. Looks like everything's cooking good. 
We've got our cookie. We're looking pretty healthy. Level four as well. We're actually up quite a lot of CS, but mind you, she's got all these CS here. Four, five, six. Six plus a nine. She's going to be on 15 CS. So just got... I'm playing very aggressive here because I saw that Udia was top lane and I saw that bot lane is still bot lane. So we're absolutely fine. The hard shove here. Just keep her at that turret. Thank goodness me, she hasn't actually spent her gold, boys. Because if she would have spent that early game, she should have honestly just reset, TP in with the Dark Seal and absolutely crushed me in the lane face. Guess not. So... Now, we know their jungle's alive again. We've got to be careful. He could be wrapping around two mid. I've managed to poke her out quite a lot. She's out of health potions. I've got one potion. And I've got a lot more CS, mind you. Again, she's got... She's 2-0. Now, she probably resets here. It is... I'm, I'm going to stop that recall. I'm not going to allow that. Because I don't want to actually reset in. Because she's actually pretty big. And we want to keep her here. Maybe if I ping on my way, we might see a gank from Graves. I just want to keep her here, actually. I don't want her going back. Boys, remember, I don't actually have... Um, I don't actually have... Um, flash, I've got to be really careful. She will reset here, by the way. Definitely, most definitely. Maybe I should try and stop her recall here just by walking up. No point freezing. No point letting it slow push towards me because um, she's got uh, because she's got TP. I can't let it slow push towards me. She's got to TP straight back in and hard reset it, lads. All right. Red card was used while cards coming up, and we're just going to push all this out, and then we're going to reset and TP back straight to me. Now let's see what item she bought here. I've actually missed that one creep there. Unbelievable. Um, 13 CS on mid, but mind you, she catches six, so she's definitely not doing too shabby. So she's got the lost chapter already, uh, and, and boots. I don't have boots, sadly, but I do have the lost chapter. So I am magic her in items. Mind you, she's worth 150 gold yet again. I thought that was really funny because her, her bounty fell off, but she has now gone back up to 150 gold. We've got the lost chapter. She's got the lost chapter, but she's got the boots grow score. We've got to be careful. It says T. I like that. It says T. I can change the grow score. There you go. Yeah, I've got it. I've got the name change set next to my um, next to my taunt button. I'm sorry about that, boys. And red card that. Now she's got level five. I'm level five as well. They're on Drake. I'm gonna ping for it. And I don't think she sees me here. Gonna just pink this. Clear out the ward she placed down. Obviously she placed down a ward. It was so obvious. And check it is a cannon. We hit level six off that. That's really good. Can we wild card this and steal it? We'll find out. Are they on it? I don't think they are. They might be. They might not be. Top lane goes down then. And that is a Jax that's going to get a kill. Oh, they did actually do Dragon then. I thought I thought so. I actually thought they were doing Dragon. But my um, first strike didn't proc, sadly. Right, so. Top lane. 1-1. One, one. It's very even in top lane, isn't it? 1-1. One, one. Mind you, Wukong's got Ignite. He should be winning that lane. Just going to do that. Take a look at bot lane. Bot lane. The Hawaii AD carry. Or Hawaii AP carry. Winning bot lane. Mid lane. I'm actually winning hard. 11 CS up. Really good. And we've got the experience lead. Mind you, she even had... Boy, she had two kills. And she had first blood. And another kill. And she actually is behind the experience. And she's behind in kills. Really bad of her. Oh, sorry. Behind in um, XP. And she's behind in... Um, and she's behind us. Yes, really bad of her. If she was, if I was 2-0, whoosh, I wouldn't let them stand stand close to me. She's gone for a free roam bit. She's gone for a roam bit on a non-cannon wave. Instead of... I should have pinged that. I didn't think she'd roam. A bit of a silly roam, to be honest. I, I mean, I know it's Ari, but still. We're going to hit level 7 after that. She's going to start missing CS. She's going to ping for this. We may, we'll see Udia come to protect mid. Uh, I see that the Eddie carry did get a double kill. Mind you, I did get a plate off mid. I can't believe she went for a flip there. She hasn't got teleport available. She did use it. Is she, was she low? I'm not entirely sure. Well, now she has a choice. She can either walk back to mid or she can instantly TP, uh, reset and walk. She can reset and walk back to mid or she can just walk back to mid from bot lane. And then that, and that's what she did. So she didn't even reset. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Ari. She, even though it worked out, I don't think it was the greatest. Got to be careful now, boys. Udia could be around. We've got our ulti. We want to use it. We really do. We've got ulti. I will be going in bot lane, by the way. Definitely. I know it's a not a cannon wave, but the wave's all the back here. Gonna try and just get on this and say, hello, Braun, what are you doing here? Just gonna wait for his shield to drop, and then I'm gonna wild card. Mind you, I didn't get the kill, but Hawaii did. Not bad. See? We did roam on a non cannon wave. Because the wave was all the way back here, I had time to cook, lads. Nice one. So that's pretty good. We got two plates, one plate off mid, nearly two. Now, Ari should step up here and stop me, but she does need to reset, so she probably will reset because it's cannon wave coming in now. Just gonna wild card this. Call the missing anyway, despite her. We know she should go back to base. Call missing anyway lads and just last it best we can just like that and it, oh it's not in the cannon wave i don't think she knows what she's doing she doesn't know what she's doing at all then this is ari her, 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 her uh, wave management is awful recalling on the wrong wrong times and roaming on the wrong wrong creep waves um, again boys i've mentioned before make sure you always roam when it's the cannon wave make sure you reset when it's the cannon wave if not now look look what's happening look what's happening in mid look see she's missing all this 
She's missing all of that. Now, if she reset on a cannon wave, she missed two creeps there. And it's not just the gold, it's the experience. We're going for a really recall here. It's not going to work out. And we've managed to dodge out the taunt because it would have landed. Not bad, though, boys. It's not the, it's not the worst. I wanted to sell up gold for my Ludens anyway. This is going to be our last time we build Ludens. As you can see here, she, had, she has two kills, two assists, and she's only level seven. Again, I told you, boys, that experience is everything. She now hits level eight after killing five creeps. We are going to miss a few CS here because I don't want to step up and get taunted. So just do that. I'm not that strong, boys. I haven't spent that gold, have I? And I'm going to call her missing here. I'm going to say that she's going bot lane. And top lane. There is St. Cook in the top lane. I'm going to make my way to top lane. I am pretty weak, by the way. Udia is here. I will go for a flash if I have to. And just like that, grab a kill and just look to see if it's cannon wave. It isn't cannon wave. I have got mid lane missing. That, uh, I'm going to say yes to the Rift Herald. Ari did nothing that whole time. She could have matched me in the top lane fight, but she did nothing. She didn't push mid. She didn't come top lane. She did nothing. So that's really good for us, boys. We're 1-1-1. One, 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 not too shabby. And now it's the cannon wave for sure. So now I'm just fine. Let's just call cool that. Where? When is there going to be a cannon wave? Am I going crazy out here? I can't really reset, Gore. I can't really reset. Two reasons why I can't. Ari's there. On top of it, it's a non-cannon wave. So we're going to hard job this in. And we have so much gold, boys. And I can't manage to spend it. So I did call missing. We're level 9. Ward in that lane, just like that. And we're not going to bother going for the plates. It's not worth it. I've got a lot of gold. Since actually in top lane. Ari is still bot lane. What is going on? I'm going to TP straight in. But I'm going to first buy Dark Seal. And I'm just going to buy that and buy that and buy a, Why not buy a refillable? I'm so bloody rich, boys. It's not too bad. Ult is up in about 10 seconds. TP's up in 10 seconds. It's looking good. See if Braum tanking a turret here. Velios ha is for one. He has got Braum next to him, though. Hawaii not doing too shabby. Mind you, our Velkos is not doing great. Ari hasn't got a clue how to play mid. She Look at mid lane. It's just been that she's never once pushed it in. We did manage to reset on a cannon wave, finally. And now we're just going to honestly just... We've got the Ludens. Now we're going to ramp up. This is going to be really sad, boys. I don't plan on playing League Rank Solo Queues. This is going to be the last time I'm playing Ludens TF. I'm going to miss it so much. I've loved this build so much. We've got OT. We've got TP as well. We've got Pink Ward. Just going to do that. See if Jax is low enough. He's not. We're back to mid. And we're just going to wait for something to cook up here, boys. Not bad at all. There you go. And we're going to see bot lane doing great. Braum's now dead. Ari's going for another rope. She likes to flip this Ari. Flip it like crazy. Now, I'm seeing a TP here. Going to put in the question mark. And I think that's Ari. And it is. So I'm going to go here and just stop the Ari. Just like... Oh, she's managed to flash my... Uh, she's got Merc Treads as well. We've got to remember that. I've got Red Buffs, by the way. Blue card is there. Not bad, Grossy. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. I'm kind of happy with that. Now, Graves is coming down here. I'm just going to go in here and just wait for Graves. Maybe press the Ludens. Get some movement speed off that. Maybe get a gold card if we can. The gold card will be there, I think, if the red buff is if the red buff's there. Oh, we've managed to do so much. Can we get any more wild cards in? I wonder. It's not enough, sadly. I did hear, I did see the Ludens go through, and I did see I did see that, but it wasn't enough. Cloudrack is alive. I've got TP. We've got instant TP mid. And just bring up the tempo of the game because I like the game moving quick. And we are going to go for, obviously, that Lich Bane. We love that Lich Bane. And seeing that Graves is safe on that Dragon. And I can see that uh, Udio is coming in. But I want to hard shove mid in, really. But I'm just going to give it up to help my boy Graves. Because I've just hung up mid lane after shoving it. It's not good. And we've got gold cards all day. Can we get a gold card? We've managed to get it. Gold card's there. Got the kill as well, lads. But look mid lane. We shouldn't have shoved it, lads, because now we've missed like four CS there. Not too bad. We've got a gold card ready. Lock and loaded. Ready to go. I like that from Graves. Graves going to try and take my CS. I'm going to say, no, Graves, this is mine. He's going to lower them all for me. Now, Ari does have her torn up. Got to be careful. And we do know that Udia isn't here right now. She's trying to clear out the CS. She's going to try to go for a taunt, but Grosgore is too clean with it. I mean, he's got the moves. He's just, he's, he's the next faker. He, it really is just unbelievable, this TF, man. It really is. We're trying to bait back now to the Graves. But we've got to watch out for Jax, by the way. Just going to hit that and run it off, boys. Not too shabby. Yeah, they call me Faker's uh, son. There you go. And mind you, I'm so old, I could be Faker's dad. Right then, so Ari doing pretty okay with the KDA, but I feel like making the, I feel like she's rubbing at the wrong times. Maybe that's just me. Again, I know she's playing Ari, and Ari has got that ult just to move around. She's probably going bot yet again. I'm just going to ping her this time, clear out this ward. I don't have flash up. Got to be careful. If Ari's here, I'm, I'm pretty much I'm gonna. She's not. She's gone bot lane yet again. I've got ult in 15 seconds, and mid lane turret is going to go down. Bot lane probably getting fed up now with this Ari Rowan bot. I don't blame them. I'll be bored as well. Normally, I have really good control of these mid laners, but this Ari just doesn't care. She just likes to flip it, don't she? Now, see that this guy is here. Gonna use a red card just to slow him. Get that done. See that bot lane is pretty low. I'm seeing that Philos is worth quite a lot of gold. 
I'm going to go for it, boys. I will be going for this, definitely. Will we see Ari respond to? No, and that is a huge shutdown to grow score. Lovely. And we're going to cook hard with this now, boys. Now, our bot lane should go mid, but I don't think they will. They, Hawaii is moving to mid. Fantastic, boys. And we're just going to take the next wave as well. 3, 1, 2. Twisted Fate, 135 CS compared to Ari's 110. We're hitting it all in the right directions, lads. Can we mop up this game, play perfectly, and have this as a nice finish to the season? I wonder. There is a play up available, but I'm not going to go for it. Ari, if this is warded, I'm pretty much gone up. I don't think it is warded. Nobody really wards this bush. And I think we're good. We are good. We are good. She's gone Oracle's Lens. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and build the Lich Bane, boys. And we're going to make our way back to mid. And I'm just going to pause the, the, the this video while I take a, a vape break. Sometimes I'll talk so quick, I, um, I lose my breath. So, bot lane should have, mid lane should have rotated bot because uh, now it's looking a bit awkward. Now, look, uh, okay, Ari's going to now roam mid. I, I, I've noticed the patterns of Ari. Ari just likes to just, just um, basically flip. She flips hard. And I get it. She's playing Ari. She can flip hard. But I mean, surely there's times to flip. Now, we know that Ari's there. She's going to ping Ari. Where else? Is she, she going to be in this bush? I doubt it. She's definitely got yet, and she is mid yet again, which is funny because I can just go on that side turret. And she has managed to get a kill there. She is worth. It's funny because Ari, Ari isn't worth a shutdown. You know, it's funny because she was 3 0, and uh, she's not worth a shutdown. But she's mind, she just got a big shutdown there. We can see that she now has a triple kill. Unbelievable. I can't believe she's getting away with it. Bottom turret is gone. That's the second turret of the game. We've got top turret. We've got bot turret. Can we now get mid turret? Now, I've got teleport available, boys. I will be TPing, by the way. Definitely going to be TP here. Just because I don't want that wave to go to Velkoz. Velkoz is the support. And I'm just going to last hit this like that. And just last hit all these. And then do that. And now we're going to look to maybe find anyone down here. I'm pretty sure I saw someone. I don't know who it was. I think it was Aphelios. Going to go in here. Are they on the Herald? I don't think Herald's alive, Grossy. So we're just going to make sure they're not there. Now, Jax is there, but he's a big boy. And we can see that Braum is here. I've got enough of Sork Shoes. Just going to help out Graze. Why not? All these little things speed up the game a little bit more for my team. I'm going to ping missing because we don't know where they are. And I'm going to be careful now. I'm going to press tab and take a look at who is fed and who's not fed. Seeing that Braum is moving towards the Velkoz. This is warded. I'm going to trickle in the emote just to say, yep, I know it's warded. And I'm not, I might go for a little flash play here just because why the heck not. And I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to go for it. We've managed to get it. Can we get away, though? No. It's not worth it, by the way. It's, it's absolutely not worth it. I'm really surprised with the Udia burst damage, lads. He actually... Because he, he was 1-5. I thought this guy's 1-5. You can't get me. But he'd done a lot of DPS. Take a look. I mean, he did that all that damage in a matter of seconds. It wasn't 8 seconds. That was including the fight of Braum. It was like a, felt like 1.5 uh, seconds. Sork Shoes is there, boys. Not too shabby. Also, we got enough now to go for maybe a stopwatch. Because I'm thinking, should I go Hourglass? Or should I go for a Death Cap? I'm taking a look at that MR. I see Lockett is on Braum. Jax is going in here, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and build and say, I'm going to save for a death cap. Oh, Graves going in then. Braum blocking out that Graves. Oh, if we've got Hawaii against Ari. I'm not happy of this layout down here, boys, because she has got Merc Treads. Look how low they all are, by the way. Velkoz is dead for the eighth time in a row. It's not too bad. It's worth nothing. Wukong is free free. He's not doing too shabby. Dragon is alive. Graves wants to respond with it. I want to go for it. I'm strong as now. So I'm 6, 17 minutes in. I already have Lich Bane. Got the Sork Shoes. Got the Ludens. Got to protect mid here. They might try and step up and try and get this mid tower. But I'm going to say no. And now they're going to retaliate by going the Dragon. Definitely a free drink for them. Unless Graves wants to do something. Seeing that Hawaii is TPing down. I am going to face check some of these bushes. Because I do want to try and maybe steal that Dragon. Again, I am Gross score the best year for the world. These are standard plays. Never mind. We didn't get it. I'm just going to see what's cooking down bot lane. And we're just going to try and maybe get Dragon. It's not there. We're going to follow the uh, the Graves here because the Ari is low. Now, if we run it down, I've got ulti in 15 seconds. Maybe if Ari wants to... I can't get to her, but I am going to ult in eventually. The Ari doesn't know it yet, but I am going to be going for this. I've got ult... Oh, Graves got the shutdown. Not too shabby then. Not bad at all, lads. And I have got ulti. I am looking, but I am going to give vision to myself now. But they should all be going down here. So I should be okay just to walk to mid. See that somebody is... I thought somebody was there. My eyes are deceiving me. It's that old age dementia. Kick it in, Gorgon. 4-2-2. Two, two. We're not doing too bad. I want to get more involved. Velkod is dead yet again because then has got a clue on how to play the game. He's just kind of running it. I mean, he's 2-9 at 19 minutes. It's not too great. That's like two deaths. That's like a death every two minutes, boys. Now, is it... Cannon wave it is, lads. 
We could stay, but I want to get that large rod. That extra spike of AP just helps me wave clear a lot more. I heard a blue trigger get used. Going to ping it there. Just going to cook up a little bit. We've got ulti, by the way. So I'm just going to ping on my way. Mind you, it is Braum stacking on the Aphelios. It's not too great. And it's so weird because we've got a Hawaii AD carry or AP carry. And it's so weird to see. Oh, dear. Is he going to... No, nope, we're going to get... Oh, dear. I'm not happy of that. You can hear my cat meowing in the background. I do apologize. I hope, hopefully... We let him outside very shortly. Seeing that bot lane is getting done here. We're going to just stand here. And maybe they face check us. I'm going to go grab the red buff. We're going to go in here, I think. I believe we are going to go in. Gold card was used. Wild cards are there. The locket, though, he got a lot. He's got a lot of MR that Braum does. He's got that locket. It's going to help with the extra MR. Cat's been let out the bag, boys. He's now outside. Ari did manage to get the Wukong in the top lane. Wuk Jax is randomly backing. I see the top lane Ari is there. She's level 13, matching my levels. It goes to show I'm not a flipper. This Ari is a flipper. I'm more play for persistency and just playing solid. She plays the flip a lot. I mean, it's working out for her. Why, why not? Am I right, boys? So, yeah, it's just crazy that we're, we're, we're two polar opposites here in the mid lane. Um, I like to just take the waves and whatnot. Now, we see Hawaii moving towards Ari. Maybe we can catch Aphelios. It's, they're both playing so safe. I can't. He's playing way far back. Ari's on a reset right now. Not much we can do. Boys, they are leading in dragons. They've got two Drake lead. We've only got one. Seeing that Jax is bot lane. Baron is up in 10 seconds. Hopefully, they manage to get that guy. Now, I've got to be careful because someone could be here. Now, I'm seeing a TP here. It looks like Ari TP. I might trickle down with my TP as well. Or I can just go mid. I'm going to say no to that. Ping him away. Take this pink ward. I can see four bot lane. And I'm just going to get the mid turret, man. Honestly, just grab that. See that Philos is trying to give Gro score some grief. Are you insane to know who I am? You want to go? We can go. I can go all day, baby. You want to you wanna mess up Gro score? It's not enough, boys. He's got extra income. Run for your life. I can't believe he's got extra income. I didn't even notice it. And now we've just walked into all of them. Oh, dearie me. I don't believe... Of course he's got Hextrink and Gross score. You've got Hawaiian Twisted Fate. Double AP. Use your brain. I was... And he was 8-2 as well. They're going to be on Baron Asher now. That is a Jax TP on Baron. Boys, we want to get Death Cap. Mind you, I should have gone Void stuff. Because they've got Locket on Braum. And they've got more of Malmodius or whatever it's called. I think it's a free Nashi. I don't see my team ever getting this in a million years. I don't think Hawaii can stop this. They've got all the MR. We're gonna, he's got, mind you, Hawaii's got Leandris. Now, they are on Baron. I've got ulti. It, oh, I, I did say, didn't I? And Braum's gone for that flash play. And now they're all going to just run in top. Mind you, Hawaii's... Oh, this is looking pretty decent, you know. I might go in here. I might go in here. I think I will go in here. We're going to see what's cooking. I want to go for someone. I want anybody. I don't care who it is. I want someone. And I can see Braum is low. And we can see that he will go down. And I've got ulti just to say, get off my boy. And we've managed to get two massive shutdowns there then, lads. Not too bad. Three of them have lost Baron Nasher. And will that Ari get my graves? We're going to find out. Aphelios does have a lot of MR. I'm just going to step up here in case Ari takes the fight. Just going to give her a little bit of backup. You can see she's level 15. Oh, she might step in here, actually. This is probably... It is Warded. She's missed the taunt completely. And I'm just going to joke around and just kind of flash my emblem to say, yep, you're garbage, kid. And now, Ari does probably have ult, so we'll be careful. Oh, wait a minute. She does have her ult. I'm doing a lot of juking. She's playing really aggressive. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes the new champ. It's not the new champ. It's Velkoz with the plays. It's worth it, in my opinion, because Ari loses that Baron buff, which is great news. Now, Felios is alive. He's still got Nasha. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen Aphelios in a while. Wow. Did he die somewhere? I don't know. Now, we've got enough of Death Cap as well, boys. Massive Power Spike. But to make matters even better for me, I'm actually going to go for a Void Staff as well. Just to give us that extra mega pay penetration. We've got wait, nine gold here, which is really bad because Baron's up. Uh, Dragon's up, and I don't want to sell my Dark Seal. Now, Dragon's up. That's the third Dragon of the game. Will we contest? Are we going to be there in time? I think Udi's already on it. He is on it. It's full HP. Great news. I see that Aphelios is mid lane with... With a Baron buff. I did think so. Jack Gray's is already dead. Mind you, they're all blimmin' low, Gross. Or can we respond? Can we? Oh, dear. He's got that dodge up. I don't like that. We've got red buff. It won't be enough, I don't think. Just going to run away here like a little girl. And just run for our lives. Because Jax is pretty scary. He's a mosher, after all. It's a TFT reference, lads. You won't get it if you don't play TFT. I just played mosher. Didn't do great for me, boys. I like them Sentinels. They're my favourite. Now... 
can see that Philos is bot lane. He has got more. We have got... This is going to be a close 1v1. Mind you, he's got Witsend as well. No, we're not going to go for it. He's got Witsend. Witsend and more. Yikes. We cannot one-shot that Philos. He doesn't have cleanse. We just can't one-shot him. See, the bot wave here is pretty looking pretty juicy. We'll take that. See, the Ari's got Merc Treads. Mind you, they've got so much MR this game. I don't blame them. We, again, we've got Hawaii AD carry. We don't actually have an AD carry this game. Interesting. Nevertheless, I'm having a good time. We're pretty strong. We're worth a shutdown. Soon I have a Void stuff. Hopefully, Jax isn't here. If he is, I'm going to be very upset. Udia could even be here. I wonder if he is. Just going to do that and just clear out the wave. Watching top lane. I could go for a little split push here. Their Baron Asher is gone. Might try that. Mind you, they've got double teleport, boys. They've got RETP. They've got Jax TP. I see they're all grouping mid. Their Baron Asher's gone in two seconds in one. Their Baron's now gone. That's great news. Let's push out this. And let's just save some mana for the minion waves. And Jax is behind us. I'm going to instantly dip because we're not going to mess with that geezer. And we're just going to run up here and run past. The creeps can't see us. If Philos can't see us here. He hasn't seen. We've got a gold card, baby. We're just going to do that. And just nearly one bang him. Jesus Christ, Gross Score. You are insane. Thank you. Nice gold card, Grossy. Thank you very much. Not bad from Gorgon. Managed to get away from Jax. Walk past the Aphelios. One bang the, um, one bang the Udia there. And then absolutely get the kill on Braum. Now, I've got TP here. So I'm just going to instantly reset and spam TP. I'm going to on my, I'm going to say on my way, Wukong's going to go bot lane to protect that. I'm going to, oh, I see our teammates going in. I don't like this. Boys, I'm not going to build Mejaz. Uh, can we end? I wonder if we can end. It'd be interesting. We've got a lot of AP on this TF. I wonder if we can end. It'd be interesting if we can end. It'd be so good if we can end here. Oh my God. Can we end? Who knows? Now, Jax did manage to get a recall somehow. I don't know how. He's going to go in here. Mind you, I've managed to land my wild cards. Do quite a lot of that. He's used these glass for some reason. Got a lot of AP here. We're all ready. We're just going to focus here, boys. See if we can... Got to flash away from that wild card. He got swallowed, baby. That's gross scores TF, mate. Gold cards all day long. Can we get a kill? Can we get a kill? I wonder. I think he's going to get away here. There's no point chasing that. He got away. And oh, he's actually... I've actually tagged him. Oh my god, he's on fire, boys. He's on fire. Who's alive? I think we're going to get him all. It's unbelievable. Gross scores to, yeah, bringing it in, boys. Unbelievable gameplay here. If he lost, is alive, though, going to instantly reset. Oh, oh, wait, the inhib is open. The inhib, the nexus is open. The nexus is open. Now, if he lost, wants to respond to, he's like, no, I'm not letting any game gross score. I'm not having gross score beat my game. And gross is just going to go ahead here. Before I go in here, I'm just going to, I want to clear the way, but I think the team have it. Do the team have it? Do they have it? Do I trust them with it? GG. Oh my god, this TF. I don't believe it's not butter, lads. Boys, make sure you drop the video a like if you like what you see. Best TF in the world, baby. Best TF in the world. Favorite game. I love League of Legends, and it's such a good way to end the season. Guys, it's been this season. I don't know what season it is, but it's been... Well, Safi, what season are we in, babe? We don't know what season we're in. It's been an amazing pleasure playing this season. Right, games. thanks so much. I'm going to miss Luden Echoes. It's been phenomenal. Guys, thank you so much. Graves was MVP. Absolutely. Catching them all at the end there. Wow. What a, wow. What, what a game. Got the most honor. Got the S+. Plus. Baby, we'll take a look at the graphs. Wow. Not the most damage, though. Funny enough. Wukong, really? Boys, drop the video a like, and I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video where we play in the new season. It's going to be crazy. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.